welcome back. Looking at my statistic wall here, uh, a couple spinning circles, it seems I haven't made Overwatch content in quite a while. But in celebration of Overwatch 2's release and my old video getting randomly recommended, and a bunch of support from you guys, which first and foremost, I just want to thank you all for all the nice comments and support you give me on that post. Because even for an out of date Overwatch tutorial on how to get out of the map and competitive in May of 2020, you all were really nice about the video and uh, it really inspired me partly to make this video. So in return, I thought I'd uh, share a bit of Ana tech I've known about for quite a long time now, but never decided to make a video about. I always thought the tech I found was a bit too niche and never really got much use, but I think it might be a little more useful than I first thought. Now every Ana player worth their salt knows the large amount of reload cancel options she has available, including the sleep dart and the bio name. And while every hero in the game has their own unique reload cancels, there is one that they all share. Holy oh shit, my God, I are just you okay? saw that. Call a doctor. What? What are they? I don't know. It's quite hey, strange. Call me. What, are they what is that? What, what's the problem? What are they hey, doing take over a there? look at this. <laughs> what are they what doing? What's T got to do with this? Hey, T's lovely. Alright, you've oh, lost man. me. That's I'm it. Over this. Despite everyone being able to do punch cancelling in Overwatch, it's actually not beneficial at all to most heroes. <laughs> Let's look at some examples to show you why first. As you can both see and hear in this clip, the Orisa starts shooting at the same time. Despite that, one Orisa takes longer to kill because they punch cancelled. As you can see with Hog and Fire, it can be just as fast, plus you get some extra melee damage. However, I still don't recommend it, because if you mess it up, you'll have to start your reload all over again which can waste a good amount of time. Despite what you might be thinking, even for Ana it's just as fast, and it doesn't save her any time. I, more than you. I know you probably thought I was building this up for Ana, and she's some big special gal, but as you can see it's just not true. The tech does involve punch cancelling your reload, which is why it's important, and there's one more thing about punch cancels that you'd need to know before you learn the tech. Notice something weird there? Yeah, right here. That doesn't look quite right, does it? For example, here's a normal one. Now, I'm not a scientist, uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna get one. So, as you can see, well, after he does the punch cancel, it like fucks up the animation, so... It looks a little fucked, doesn't it? Look at that, that doesn't look right. <laughs> okay, yeah, there's no way he isn't getting fired. Tim? Yeah, thanks. But, uh, he knows he's got a point, cause, uh, look at what happens here, you know? Most shots are fine, but, uh, what's this? Mm -hmm. you, can't, you can't shoot from your tummy or your hand that's not there, that's, that's ridiculous. As wacky as just an animation may seem, that's the only reason this tech works. Here you're seeing a normal onoscope, which you'd probably be familiar with. Now we're gonna show a sleep cancelled reload. Still looks mostly normal. But there's something different with the punch cancel. Now you might not have seen it there because it is pretty quick, but this is the frame after a normal reload. Now if we look over to the punch cancel, overlaid you can see that something's there that wasn't there before. This is only with the punch cancel. Not with the sleep, not with the nano, and not with the bio cancel. I know I told you that this doesn't help on a fire any faster and it doesn't work. That's not entirely false, because she can't fire any faster. This clip I'm showing you now shows Ana's default no scope after a reload speed versus scope speed. Since Ana has to be a certain amount of scoped in to fire, it takes longer for her to shoot after a reload than it normally does with a no scope. That's why using her abilities to reload cancel is so good in game. You can use your bio and sleep to help your team or yourself while you're waiting for your bullets to come back. Now there's two really key points of information that I gave out during this video that we use for this tech. The first thing I said was how Ana has to be aimed in a certain amount to actually shoot her hitscan shot. The other one being that that punch cancel animation is jank, it's stupid! <coughs> Who cares about it? I had to cough, sorry. I might leave that in, I'll uh, deal with it. Now that we finally have all the steps to the tech, it's time to show what we're truly capable of. 
Holy shit, he's finally doing it, guys. Come here. You don't Ricky. need to Ricky sway. Patrick. Come on. Yeah, what? You don't want to see this. Oh my, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's finally it's looking like back. Wow. Did it? Did it? Did it? Did it? I saw it. Nice. Shh. Okay. All right. We get it. Uh, funny. All right. We're here to learn. Although it may only seem a little at first, if you look closely, it's almost a full bar ahead. Thana's damage over time and healing over time, just a couple of seconds can really make a huge difference whether someone makes it through a fight or doesn't. In this clip, I was messing around with following up bio cancels with a punch cancel. Since a punch cancel makes you fire in scope sooner, and a bio cancel just makes you shoot sooner because you get your bullets back faster, I wondered what would happen. This clearly shows why it's better just to bio cancel rather than adding a punch cancel. That's why it also is so niche. You can see the first shot come out, meaning that there wasn't even a chance to scope in before the normal shot was ready to fire from the bio cancel. All of this is impossible without this little frame right here, which makes it pretty amazing if you ask me. In all seriousness, as niche as this may be, it really does have its uses. You can fire a little bit faster, it could save a life, and with Ana doing damage over time and healing over time, those few seconds really can make the difference in a fight. Do I think it's a make or break skill that you need to learn? Definitely not, but it is a cool thing to know and show off. Although I don't know 100% sure whether punch cancelling is faster for other heroes, I highly doubt it. Once again, just to reiterate, this doesn't actually make her fire faster overall, only for her hit scan shots, which for Ana does make a difference. I hope I didn't leave out too many questions or leave too many mistakes in. If you have any questions though, please feel free to put them in the comments because I always look at them. Commenting on my videos really does help me make more content. I do like doing bigger videos like this, well, you know, bigger for me at least, so I plan on trying to do it more soon. If you like the kind of videos I'm making right now, then please do give a like so I know that you like it. And if you like more of these videos, then uh, hit subscribe so you can follow up, you know? It's helpful, you know? Hey, guess yeah. what? Nobody gives I'll, a shit. Okay. Alright, I'm trying, Honestly, working on it, you're getting in my way. Yeah. Hold on. No, okay. no, my turn. Oh, right. Yeah, uh, so if you <laughs> you're fuck that guy, this, right? Okay, that's far. Also, uh, that's really hope harsh. you guys have a nice rest of the yeah, day. You're doing so much better. So yeah. That was yeah. my impression of it. Okay. Like, yeah, anyways, whatever. I hope you guys have a good night. You know, take care of yourselves. Yeah, I such. agree. Now that I agree. Bella, uh, see you later. Hopefully. Take care, guys. Although you may have not needed the whole explanation for punch cancel and then just buffer a scope shot, <laughs> it being faster. If you just want to know the information, then that's fine. I'll leave a tag in the description for you guys. Or, uh, but you're going to have to listen to this first. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> it's mean.